morning guys it's not often i vlog here just because it's a really awkward part of the room to vlog in slash it's a little bit beige and bland you can probably hear mr tumble in the background that's because um we've just gotten up we are having breakfast i've got some marmite toast i've not had marmite toast in ages and yeah we're just gonna chill and watch cbb's on this very rainy day which could be better i've got my first ever driving lesson today and when i say my first ever driving lesson i mean literally my first ever driving lesson my first ever experience even sitting in the driver's seat of the car i've never even started a car moved a car i complete novice but it's about time that i start driving i'm at that point where i feel like i need to drive the other day i just bit the bullet and um thought right i need to arrange these driving lessons keep going on about it let's just do it otherwise i'm just going to keep holding it off so i'm doing them with the same guy that doug and his sister use so i feel like i can trust their recommendation and i at least know that i'm getting in the car with someone nice my grandma's gonna come here and look after delilah when i go off and have my lesson and then i don't have a huge amount planned for the rest of the day it's the last vloggist today i told myself i'd do 15 vloggists because that's technically how many it would work out to be if i were to vlog actually vlog every other day you could argue that i could have done 16 Mummy. yeah but i thought 15 would be a good number and that's what i wanted to end on and um we're almost at the end of august so i needed to vlog some day this week so i thought i'd vlog today it's kind of exciting because it is my first driving lesson but then that's kind of all that's happening so it's gonna be a very cozy home day but i know lots of you like that this one is having her breakfast as requested on her beanbag chair <laughs> The little stripy beanbag chair was from Jojo Mama. I was probably about six months pregnant or something when we got that. I don't know if they still do them, but I get asked a lot about that chair. It's from Jojo Mama. Look, post office. There we go. Let's go into the post office. That's it. It's Grandma here. Hello, Granny. It is Granny. I know. Yeah. It's perfect Grandma conditions for Mummy driving, Granny. isn't it? Yeah. My driving instructors will be here any second, so I've put my shoes on. I'm feeling like Converse are probably the most suitable shoe I have to drive in. And the rain isn't getting any better. Bab, see you in a bit. Thanks, bye. Okay, here we go. See you when I get back. Hi, gorgeous. I'll see you in a bit. Let's see how this is going to work. So, it's been probably about six hours since the last time I probably vlogged. Like I said, not much is happening today. Oh, I'm also back sitting with um another coffee it's a three coffee kind of day today i'm quite tired i've had a couple of late nights the last couple nights and it's caught up with me i've got sore throat headache i'm tired but it's been good because it's been like it's been a product they've been productive late nights i haven't just been sat watching netflix or anything when i got back from my driving lesson i knew i needed to get out for a little bit with delilah so she, she could get out and burn some energy and um do something so we decided to go for some lunch with my grandma at um at a local garden center so we had a little mosey around had some lunch. Yeah, that's so is that the carrot? She did that to me. Tomato, I think. Oh, tomato. Oh, good job. Punch, crunch. Punch, crunch. You tried it. You tried it. Sing on. It's just nice, isn't it? Yeah. Nice. Is that nice? Yeah, yeah. So I've got a little ham sandwich. And now I've got my jacket spud and salad. It's impossible to get anywhere quickly with a two-year-old because they get distracted by absolutely everything. Oh, wow, that's cute, isn't it? Cute. And then we came back home. I popped Delilah down for a nap straight away because it was already quite late. I've just gotten her up and it's half four, so it's a bit of a danger nap, but I usually needed a little something. And now here we are. Hi, gorgeous. We are obsessed with our duplo at the moment what was i going to say yes so coffee. is that your coffee it's her almond milk coffee yeah you guys are probably thinking rhiannon how did the driving lesson go i came back indoors with a huge smile on my face not because i thought oh yeah this is easy this will be really good i was i'm still kind of terrified but 
I don't know, I, I guess I sort of just felt proud for getting that first lesson out of the way. I don't know where to begin really. Um, it went well. The driving instructor said I did really well, but I feel like he's probably going to say that to everyone. Unless you do so horrifically bad, of course they're going to, you know, give you words of encouragement. But I think it went okay. I drove the car way more than I thought I was going to. What are you, yeah. what are you looking at? Yes, gorgeous. That was really scary. She's just looking over the door like that. Just staring. What's up, gorgeous? Yeah. Do you see anything? Yeah, it's just a it's just a door. No one's there, are they? Mm. Yeah? Oh god. Okay. Before we swap seats, he had to just check that my eyesight was okay, so um I think he said it was from like twenty yards away or something. I had to read someone's number plate. Which was easy for me, I have good eyesight. And then I got into the driver's seat and I'm sort of having like an internal meltdown thinking, oh god, this is really real right now. We are to... Can you excuse me? Then obviously he had to tell me how to get my seat right and all my wind and all my wind mirrors right. So um got in the seat, had to put the seat like right in front of the steering wheel because my legs could barely reach the pedals. Went around the block with me just steering and he did all of the pedals. And then oh, we're on a mission. What Delilah's very busy right now. What are you doing? Hello. 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 And then when we got back, we then oh we then started going bye bye with the gear stick i just couldn't in my head visualize where the numbers were every time he asked me to go through from one gear number to the next i was like where's that number again so we had to go over that a few times and then i don't know there's lots of stuff you have to go over there's a lot to think Daddy, about help. yes gorgeous help okay i'll hold that help help we just kept going around the block. I used the accelerator a little bit. Only used my brake a couple times. He was just telling me how to sort of use it with the clutch. Um, I actually know what the clutch does now. I never used to know what a clutch did. Gears are so complicated. Every part of me just wants to do an automatic um, drive, driving license. I know I'll be thankful that I did um that i got a license where i could use gears and then we did a couple of gear changes whilst hello. whilst Mommy. we were moving hello Red. yeah Red. go on Red. strong girl yeah we did a couple of gear changes whilst we were moving but then because i was trying to think of the gear and the clutch i, I then would forget that i was steering the thing that i found really disorientating is i couldn't i couldn't feel when the wheels were straight or whether they were going in the other direction and i've the most i've done is go in a go-kart which obviously has quite responsive um steering wheels so when i first started to steer it felt really odd that i had to really kind of like turn the wheel loads just to turn a little bit um rather than just like going like that that took a while to get used to and i don't know the steering's really strange because i just i feel like i'm constantly doing that but yeah initially i'm overwhelmed by how much there is to think about and my head thinks how am I going to do this? How am I going to actually be in control of a, of a car and actually be able to do this? But this is my first lesson and I know that and I keep having to tell myself that I did well and it's out of the way and it's only going to get hopefully easier from now on. I know it will become second nature to me and I know that I'll get into the car at some point in the future and I'll turn the music on and I'll go into autopilot and I won't even think about it and I'll get out of the car and I'll think, oh my gosh, I've made it. I've done it. Bye. It's a fly. It's just a fly. Bye bye. Bye. I can't. I can't even see it. Bye bye. <laughs> oh, but I've got to get up. Mummy's got to get up. Sorry. It went well. Boy. Okay. I'm going. I'm getting up. I'm getting up. What are we doing? Cuddle. Cuddle. Google pig. Do you hear this girl? Google pig. You talk talking to George. Google. Go on, Georgie. What, George and Pepper? Bye bye. This bed is covered in all sorts. To be fair, it's mainly messy because I didn't make the bed this morning and it's got a couple of deliveries um, on it.
there we go that's better it wasn't too bad really it was just a matter of sorting the bed putting a couple of things away and um i just need to go through these so tonight i'm gonna try on these leggings i know it seems like i'm buying gym leggings all the time it's just because um i only started working out this year and so it's taken me a little bit of trial and error to find out what leggings i like which ones are good which ones don't show my bum when i bend over because that's just, that's the thing and then i've got a zara order here i ordered the same jumper from zara in two um two colors the black and the cream i'm gonna try these on and see how i feel about them got this little oh gosh i need to stop calling everything little i got this play set which is just like little joggers and a jumper um for delilah but i'm not a fan of it i didn't realize it had glittery cheeks and the material almost like the material is lovely and soft but it also kind of looks like neoprene it's really weird material like the joggers are sweet but it comes as a set, so I can't just keep the joggers. I'm 99% sure I'm gonna send this back because I don't want to have stuff that I don't love, love, love. This I love, it is so soft. Jumpsuit or dungarees, whatever you want to call them. Um, I know she'll get loads of wear out of that. They look so big because they are two to three years now. I just love that her clothes are now gonna fit her for a nice amount of time. And then I got her this stripy top. It's like a knitted top, so it's... um good for autumn and then layering in the winter and then i got her these plain bodies i like to still put her in bodies that pop her up underneath her nappy because they don't ride up and get uncomfortable when she's wearing things like dungarees there we go <laughs> there's my ra random zara haul As much as I love the fit and style of this, I think I'm going to keep the black one and send this one back because I'm already not loving this one for some reason. And if I'm not loving it now, I'm certainly not going to wear it. This just isn't doing it for me. But the black one, the black one, I am liking. They're both smalls, but this feels like it fits. Like, it feels smaller than the other one. That jumper has left fluff all over me. Brilliant. <laughs> we are going to head out and do the recycling. Um, just to get out, get some fresh air. Nothing too exciting, but it's, it's just nice to get outside for a little bit. I do. Kick. Oh! <laughs> Kick. Oh, get it! <laughs> is it me or is that tree starting to turn brown? You know what that means, Delilah? It means autumn. I don't want to show you where we live, so I'm just gonna vlog like this. It is such a beautiful evening. It's like the perfect temperature. I can hear the birds singing. It's sunny. The air is so fresh. It's beautiful, Delilah. It's a lovely evening. <laughs> She's now covered in my grass. Me and Doggy are coming. Up, 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 up. Oh. Big blow. Mm. Oh, you did it. Big blow. Mummy. <laughs> okay. <Sorry. sighs> Doc's home. He's just in the bath with Delilah. Sorry, Gee. Mr. Tumble. Off you go. That's enough, Mr. Tumble, for the day. It's a little bit later than last time I vlogged. I, I just, I feel like today's vlog's just gonna be a, a bit of a random one i don't want to film everything i feel like you guys have seen like so much of our normal day-to-day -day routine this month and past months that today could you know today's just a chilled out vlog whilst um whilst dog and delilah are in the bath i'm going to um carry on editing the vlog that i have been editing today wiping up her table after dinner it's got beans all over it Dunk. <laughs> Doug. I know it's Doug, isn't it? It's Daddy, though, isn't it? Doug. Yeah, you call him Daddy, though. Up. Daddy. Daddy. Okay. You want to come to Mummy? Do you want Doggy to come to bed with you? Do you want to get Doggy? Doggy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think Doggy's in here, Possum. <laughs> there we go. Go on, then. let's get you to bed. Yes. Yes. Night. Night. Dinner time. Dogs made us cake with pesto and then breadcrumbs. And then we've got some roast potatoes and some veg. That is the end of Vlogus 2018. I cannot wait for tomorrow. 
I'm going to have a day where I get up and I just whack my hair up shove some clothes on don't bother with makeup i'm gonna go meet a friend and her um her little girl and go to the park grab coffee maybe take coffee from home actually and take it to the park and then when you come home and delilah's gonna um spend the day with my grandma for um a few hours so i can get some work done so it's gonna be a really nice day getting some work done but also spending some time with delilah catching up with a friend and also super chill so yeah i'm looking forward to that thank you for all the support and love for vlogmas this month oh got all my jumper hair stuck to my armpit delightful i'm glad you guys enjoyed vlogmas i really enjoyed it this month i've been really happy with the vlogs <laughs> my trousers are falling down brilliant i don't understand how these are just i think they're meant to sit on your hip but i like wearing them high waisted so then they just fall down all the time i will see you guys in september my mum's gonna be in hospital in september and i'm gonna be looking after her so i will try and upload what i can i do have a lot of branded content that's coming all at once which is amazing um from a work point of view and opportunities point of view and all of that and it's quite good because i'm not doing the every other day vlogs but at the same time i'm gonna be looking after my mum so it's it's gonna be an interesting month or two but i feel like the next month or two is gonna bring exciting exciting things so watch this space i'm really gonna go now i will see you guys i don't know i will see you guys soon i won't be gone for too long bye you've just been waiting outside for me <laughs> you're gonna come in <laughs> so